and welcome from lovely Budapest. I'm Torres and this is my tuner car which is a Nissan Micra K11 uh, with the big block 1.4 uh, engine which makes uh, a great 82 horsepower from its uh, stock form and uh, well over the time uh, this had been earlier supercharged by an AMR 500 uh, based kit uh, but unfortunately uh, after 3000 kilometers it uh, started developing some issues uh, which are which we couldn't really troubleshoot and uh, well, the kit didn't work for me, at least, let's say this way. But uh, I've been in contact with Hyde Motorworks uh, because the the, uh, the supercharger was uh, original for, from him, from them. And, uh, well, they basically uh, gave me an offer which I couldn't really refuse is to get a new AMR 500 free of charge, which is which was quite uh, uh, an offer from them but uh, they they came up with the idea to how about to make make a supercharger kit which is which is reliable which can be serviced which has documentation which has official support from the manufacturer and both high motorworks so well what could i say i said yes of course uh, so that's how I became the designer, well, mostly project manager uh, for the new kit, uh, which will be built here in Hungary by Kexi uh, and me. Kexi is, a, is an excellent Honda tuner here in Hungary and has the, has the capability to, to produce a kit or at least a prototype uh, which can be uh, put to the market later on. The idea to, to buy a little, you know, like trash bin for someone is to, is basically came when I was learning how to drive not so long ago, basically five, six years ago. And uh, one of my good friends, uh, uh, wife actually had, had a car like this with a 1.4 engine uh, with a whopping 82 horsepower and uh, well I tried it and I was blown away well what can you say when you haven't even learned how to drive and you are driving a, a little tiny car like this so I think it's time for us to to look around what this car has because it's not in stock form uh, that's what I can say but uh, we will uh, start a project uh, and it's starting soon and uh, this car will uh, get some, uh, well, let's say power-ups. So I started out with the easier upgrades you can get with basically bigger brakes, uh, bigger wheels, bigger tires, and um, you can actually get BC Racing coilovers for this, uh, which gives it a great, you know, a very, very good, good-looking stance. Um, so that's what we have, and then. Uh, there were some uh, tries to do, um, you know, some engine engine uh, upgrades or some performance upgrades, which started out as a, as a reason ECU. Uh, it took very very long time to get it, and basically just uh, extended the the rev limiter, which uh, wasn't really that that much of an upgrade. So what's gonna happen here is with with the engine and the the previous supercharger kit well the the, uh, the last supercharger kit will be basically removed everything will be put back in place and uh, we will have something uh, something fancy in here like this which is a road track centrifugal supercharger which if you just look at here it's very very tiny it's actually two-thirds the size of an AMR 500 and uh, it will perform way way better both in uh, performance and reliability uh, this little uh, spinny boy can uh, make uh, 
between 120 and 220 horsepower so it's quite a lot actually but I don't think we will need uh, over 200 uh, horsepower for a tiny car like this because you can't even put it down to the ground so how a supercharger how you can control the supercharger basically is is with the with the size of the pulley on it so there will there are some calculators on the Rotrack side and also high motor works can help uh, choose uh, the supercharger you wanna uh, install we are going uh, with a pulley that can produce uh, 150 160 uh, horsepower that's it for now thanks for watching uh, I hope I got your attention uh, about this project uh, things will uh, go faster and faster I hope we will have a prototype and some dyno and whatnot uh, to show you as well follow us uh, follow Hyde Motorworks and follow me on the micro machine uh, and have a good one